Hey, it's George Whittem reporting from Whittem's World. Those of you who use Audacity, you might want to take advantage of chains. And one cool thing about the effects chains is I can build one for you. But unfortunately, loading the effects chains that I create for you in the EQ curves takes a little bit of tutorial. So that's what this is all about today. So let me show you how to do this on the Mac. And I'll also have an inset that I will edit in later showing how to do this on Windows as well. There, it's the same process, but finding the folder you need for chains is different on the PC. So we need to load in two different elements. One is the effects chain file, which ends in a text or TXT file format. And the other one is the EQ curve, which ends in an XML file format. And we need to load those two in separately. So we'll start with loading in the EQ curve. So to do that, that one's pretty easy. You go to effects, which you can't do unless you have some audio loaded. So we'll go ahead and drop some audio in. Click on the track, effect, equalization. Then we'll go to save, manage curves, import. And now we have to browse to the location of the curve that we want to import. So I happen to know that's under this folder, client media, Bruce Brown, and we'll use this curve right here, open. Now it'll show up in your list of curves. There should be a new curve, and this one's called Bruce B. Click OK, and now I have a curve created and loaded specifically for Bruce Brown in this case, and uh, it's ready to go. So that's step one. We gotta have the EQ curve in the system. Then we need to load the chain. So we'll go to File, Edit Chains, and we'll go Import. Oh, wait, there's no Import button. Bummer. Hey, developers, add an Import button. Okay. So since there's no import button, you have to know where to put that text file so that the chain will show up in the effects change list. So this is where it's different from Mac and Windows. So on the Mac, the chains folder, which I have saved as a favorite over here, over here so I can find it, is in this crazy location. So it's in hard drive, users, your username, your library, which is hidden by default on a Mac, Application support Audacity chains. Okay, that's where it is. Quickest way to go there is to go to Go. And while you're in the Go menu, hold down Alt, the Option Alt key. When you do that, all of a sudden you have the hidden library folder. Now you can open that up and you can browse to, again, Application support Audacity chains. So let's do that. Let's do that right now. Go library application support. You can sort by file uh, alphabetical order, name by clicking on name. Audacity. Oh, it's changing the order of the files as things get written. Preferences get written. So I'm going to change it to name and audacity. And now you'll see we have a chains folder. And that's where you want to put that file. So if I send you a chain, you'll want to copy that chain. So Bruce Brown chain, command C, copy. Chains folder, command V, paste. And now the next time you open the edit chains, you should have the new chain. Edit chains. Ta-da! There it is. It's ready to be applied to your audio. So now I'll go to File. Let's go ahead and apply the chain to your audio. File. Apply chain. Bruce Brown chain. Apply to current project. Bam! How cool is that? So the before. Earlier this month, the U.S. Air Force released a statement that the most expensive weapon system ever built is on. And after. 
Earlier this month, the U.S. Air Force released a statement that the most expensive weapon system ever built is on track for initial combat use. By Pretty slick, huh? I'm not sure if what the stuttering on the playback was. It might be because this was recorded at 32-bit float, 96K, which I don't recommend, by the way. That's a really, really super mega high sample rate, really out, out, way out of control for what a voice actor would need. I recommend 24-bit 48K or 44.1. So my playback may have skipped uh, because of that, because my audio playback device doesn't support that. I hope you found that helpful. And if you'd like a chain built for you, go visit my website, vostudiotech.com. Look on the services menu. And right on services menu, you will see that there is a function or a uh, service called Virtual Engineer Audio Processing Template. And I can build you your very own uh, custom chain to load into your system and to give you that nice, sweet, hot, and uh, kind of just that really sizzly sound that clients are going to expect to hear from you in your auditions these days. So anyway, that's it for me today. George Whittem for Whittem's World, signing off. Take care.